Hello and welcome everybody, AkamaldL here, and by the title of the video, you should know, and or by updating your games right now, which you can do, the new version update is here, 1.12.0, well no, it's 1.20.0, I'm dumb. <laughs> so that update is now here, maintenance has ended, so, so really quick, uh, we do get like, some ashes and some honeys. Three and three, a pop. But, but, well, what really came out with this update is the new shared skill feature. This, this little news tab right here, this has much more information on it. And, and also, and also I'll quickly be going over a couple other things that did come out with this update and or showing them off. But this is mainly focused around the shared skills, which I'll be covering right now. So then, just if you have, so then that just if you find this video helpful and or enjoyable, feel free to like and, subs and, and subscribe and comment how you feel about this update. If if a uh, if if a uh, if a uh, you like, uh, feel free to say what stuff you found that works with, with this update, stuff like that. Anything that can help learn, I am all for. So. So then, shared skills. What are shared skills? These are these are shared skills that down here. You can now take the first skill of other adventurers and put them in place of uh, your weapon slot or your friend's skill. And these do work in co-op too. These do work in co-op, meaning meaning in co-op. In short, you now have access to a third skill, which is pretty damn cool. I've already seen some fun combinations of like. Of like four of like four Lowens taking on the uh, Ciela, uh, for example, it's funny right now. I've also seen three Lowens and and a Marth take down Volk. J just stuff like that is now possible with the shared skills. This is a very versatile update that can affect literally everybody. So then, uh, equipping. Um, okay, so. So in order to unlock the shared skill, uh, the picture down here also says it, but but I'll also show up here. You need adventure love lady, master goal fifty, and you also need these tomes as well. Uh, these 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 are uh, these are uh, elemental tomes. Um, um I have uh, already mentioned. Go away. I have. I've uh, already mentioned what the what was a shared one and two does. Um, I don't quite understand what this means, but but uh, regardless, uh, points. Some some shared skills have points. Uh, for example, this one only requires three points to equip. This one requires six out of out of out of, uh, out of uh, the ten. Based off of uh, what I've heard other people say. And or just general knowledge, you what you more than likely want is it is your weapon skill, which will which will be in place of uh, this. So so for example, on my Marth, I still have the Agito skill equipped. Then for the second one, that that will be what benefits the the, the adventure even more. Whether that being more damage for even more burst damage or. Or a buff, just like I have on right now. In which, well, in my opinion, Ellie's buff is probably, like, uh, the best one. That's my opinion. I still do need to test around a little bit more. But for safekeeping, I just uh, put that on. I might try I might try Ayudin's, to be honest. Because A, more burn, and B, raises Dragon Drive. So more, so more Dragon Claws. And which, will, and which will actually, a disgusting combo could actually be mass 70 Ayudin with Galmin's first skill, or even of uh, vice versa. That could be fun as. That could be fun. <laughs> I might try that even. But, but regardless, I'm I'm getting off a uh, topic here. So then, so then here's where more information is said, and or and and or and or the rest. So, unlocking. You need, you do need th the tomes, but it says here they can be obtained from events or from the shop using Dimantium. 
Okay, let's say you do spend casually. How expensive are these? Well... Well, well, I took a look already. You can purchase these weekly. A hundred. A hundred for one, and you can buy up to thirty. So, so three thousand to buy at one element. Then from there, you have all five elements. So fifteen thousand diamantium for all five elements for thirty tomes. That is a little under 10 characters per element. But that's a lot of diamantium. Wait, wait how much how much would that even cost off of just pure diamantium? I'm actually curious here. Is that That's about 300 bucks. Yeah, okay, Mega Wheels, gotcha. I do not recommend casual whales going for that. <laughs> but, but well, we should get a new event after the Voibel Endeavors, so... So they won't be pay to win for long, but it's just something that, that should be made aware. That, yeah, uh, they're expensive. They're kind of on the expensive side. So, so then, so then... This is also very important information. When, when skills use a share skill, the following reductions will be applied. So while they will be slightly nerfed, its skill gauge will fill either more slowly or more quickly depending on, on the adventurer. I can actually say this with the utmost uh, confidence. This skill, for example, when on alley, it, it does fill pretty quickly. But, for example, on any other adventure, it, it feels like three to four times slower. So yeah, it's... So yeah, there are some cases where... Where, well, it does take a long time to get them, and other times it's like an, another skill out, right? But... But yeah. But yeah, they did this to pretty much a, a buff skills where it takes longer. I'm, I'm scared for Patia. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to look at Patia, to be honest. Because, oh boy. Uh, oh, oh, when a skill does damage, it dam its damage will be reduced, so it will have a plus multiplier. And when a skill restores HP, its recovery potency will be reduced. So it doesn't heal as much. Well, for example, for Fire's case, they can use a heal skill. That way they can heal themselves for Volk. That's, that is just an example. So, okay, then, um, damage, de damage dealing skills. This is something, uh, interesting. In the event that the elemental attunement of a shared skill and the adventure equipping said skill differ, the damage dealt by the shared skill will, will change to match the elemental attunement of the adventure using uh, the skill. And they also say an example right here. If a flame to adventurer uses a skill that would normally deal wind damage, the skill will instead deal flame damage. So, so well, I can also use an actual example for this. So let's say, for example, I use Luca's. Say for example, I equip Lucas' skill onto a flame unit. This will now deal flame damage and inflict paralysis. Simple as that. Instead of it dealing uh, light damage. So now buffs. This is this is where this is where it does get kind of interesting and at the same time not really. Uh, uh, for shared skills uh, that provide buffs and debuffs restricting to specific elements, these buffs and debuffs will only be applied to adventures and enemies attuned to the element specified in the skills uh, description. And they also say, and they also say, an example: if a flame to adventure uses a shared skill that provides a strength buff to wind, the buff will not be applied to them, and instead will only be applied to wind attuned teammates. So well then, that's also why Ellie Sands is so good because it affects everybody. But 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 say for example, I were to do. Where are you? This is where I wish I had it all unlocked. All right, Gelly. Gelly, for example, she does water attuned by thirty percent, but for fifteen seconds, it doesn't change to fire. It, it stays water. So 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 that's also where they nerfed buffs as well. But. Overall, this is actually a pretty balanced system, to be fair. It's actually pretty well balanced. It it opens it opens up the door for much more uh, team combinations, 
without the skills being overly OP. But well, well, to be honest, I might say Ranzel's is the most OP because because it inflicts poison and D spells. Ma imagine that for Dark now. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, though, uh, that's actually it for for uh, for the news section. For for this whole thing, I, I'm actually going to go to where the update was. And uh, let me actually track down. Why there are so many? There are so many things in here right now. There are so many things. Okay. All right. So lots of issues came with this as well. I'm surprised at just how much came. Uh, I want to track down the where the update note notes was. That way. That way I can see a a what else I need to cover up oh, right here. So updates. So yes, skill sharing. That's all here right now. But but this well well this will be changing soon. When the force update hits, that's when this will all come out. And and also a reduced damage of taken by AI. That came that came with this as well. Now then, this, 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 this is live right now. Reduce damage from the initial blasts. That is live right now, in which, I'll, in which I can actually show you, and also, and also show off what, what the, what the whole rolling thing is as well. Oh, the roll dodging. That's it. So while we're going to co-op, I'll be showing off this shared skill as well as I'm just gonna ready up and wait at this point. Oh hey, I hit 10k! Yay! Wait, I wonder actually, was it show for the shared skill actually? Oh, okay, okay. So that all right. So that's how it shows it. That's actually pretty cool. All right, cool. Oh, Lowen, yay! Are you good? Yep, it's good. And last month, yay! All right, all right, we should have this. Yes, this shouldn't be that bad. Pay attention to uh, to how little. Let's go! Come on, Lowen. Lowen. Wait, wait. Uh, can I view your shared skills? I can actually. Okay. I can view all their shared skills actually and see what other people are running. People are running a tornado bash on a non mana Ranzel. Okay, so that one's a blazing circle. That that one's nice. Up oh, and host left. Yay. Cool, fantastic. I I, I wanna show off this balance update, damn it. Oh yeah, that's right, I meant to do this. Are we going here? Or what? Oh, yep, we're going here. Okay. Alright, so pay attention to how little damage High Midgard's Blast is now doing. Normally, Expert can dip me down into the red. Keep that in mind in order to trigger the passive. Watch how little it does now. Not even I have seen, so this is gonna be good. Oh my god, not. A little over half. Grit, 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 so I can't do that combo anymore. Doing that real quick. Pick away. And we got this. I got that buff. There we go. I waited too long. In time? I got in time. Yeah, see? Easy. That was piss easy, actually. That one took a minute.
Oh, oh yeah, that's actually yeah, something else. Any form of skill prep dragon. I'm actually I'm actually not gonna set that uh, right now. Any form of skill prep dragon, it does actually affect that shared skill. So so for example, when my so for example when my Mars of Transformation ended there, I got that first skill. But well, you saw how long that skill took uh, to charge, right? Some of these skills seriously got nerfed outright. I was excited for that Ellie skill too, damn it. <laughs> but hey though, I can't complain too much. It still did pretty good. But yeah though now but yeah though uh, but yeah, though now for example, um uh Fjorm cheese and Veronica cheese, those those are gonna be nerfed immensely now because of because of these uh, weaker blasts. But however, because of these weaker blasts, beginner players can begin to get into high dragons a lot quicker. Then begin to farm standard, begin to farm Fafnirs and or the high dragons themselves. I still need to do that personally. I might start I might start doing that soon actually. With my baby with my spare wings, I might still use it on Volk right now. Not sure, but but yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. I never showed off the uh the roll iframes. Yeah, oh, well. Yeah, oh, well. I will. I will eventually get used. I will eventually uh, get get used to that. But but that's it for the current update. What's when the force update goes live? More stuff will be coming along with Master Volk. Uh, we will be getting the whole, the, uh, the Royal, uh, Regimen. So, new players, look out for that when it goes live in two days. Wait, no, tomorrow, actually. This goes live tomorrow. Shoot. This actually goes live tomorrow. And or, and or later tonight, depending on time zones, but, but for me, it's uh, tomorrow morning at 1 a.m. Okay, so it looks like I have a couple of videos now. Yay. <laughs> I got videos. I have content. I get content right now. All right. All right. So that's it for the video. Hopefully you found this helpful. Um, just if, uh, just if, um, I will be keeping an eye on the Reddit to see what, what, what people's accommodations are, what works, what doesn't. Then, then we'll once when these become free to play, I will definitely be, I'll definitely be trying some out as well. But hopefully you guys found, found this helpful. Feel free to subscribe to stay up to date on what's new to Dragalia Lost. I'm going to try guide soon. I'm going to try an actual attempt this time. Unlike my news or resolution that I haven't fulfilled yet. <laughs> but uh, by the way, that's it. But by the way, that is it. Thank you all for watching. And I will see you probably tomorrow to be honest.